happening Rob fans and welcome to the first episode of Red Beard's Rum Review. And today for this episode what we're going to be doing is reviewing something that's absolutely booming in the supermarkets at the moment and this is the Dead Man's Fingers. So let's have a cheeky look and see what it says in the bottle. So the bottle itself, really nice looking bottle, um, really good the illustrations, simple I think but effective. Cork top, always a winner with me for the rums. Um, and it's 37.5%. So not that strong, but it's all in the taste. Um, the back of the bottle, looking at the back. Uh, so what it says is, we do things differently here. Dead Man's Fingers is a blend of rum and spices created at the Rum and Crab Shack at St. Ives Cornwall. So that's what I like as well. It's a local sort of British rum. Inspired by local flavours such as saffron cake, mixed fruit and the Shack's Old Pedro Jimenez ice cream. Enjoy it mixed or neat. Either way, this is not your usual, this is Cornish soul. So, let's go and check that out and see if that's true. Right, those formalities are all over. Let's crack it open and give it a little taste. Right, as you can see, if you can see through the sanders, um, it is quite dark, quite a dark in colour. This is probably because of the caramel. Um, and the flavourings. So what we expect to taste and smell from here is the caramel, vanilla, uh, hints of nutmeg and a hint of orange as well. Um, as we see, as it look around, it's quite thick, so it's probably going to be quite sweet and there's quite a few legs on the glass as well, which indicates um, a, a thickness and sweetness. Um, okay. let's, give it a, let's give it a whirl. Chin chin. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. And do you know what? It's not too sweet. All well, the indications previous are looking at this really indicates it's going to be sweet, really sweet, but it's not. It's so smooth. Very nice. Do you know what? I can definitely taste the caramel. That's probably the biggest and the most prominent taste there. Mm. Um, I can taste the vanilla, hints of vanilla, but what I'm not getting, I can't really taste the orange in there, but it's absolutely beautiful, it's an absolutely stunning drink. Oh. Do you know what, I could probably sit there all night, do the bottle, bit of a baggy head in the morning, but there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, for sippability, I tell you what, I'm going to give that a four. I'm going to give that a four or five for sippability because it's it's not harsh at all. It's so smooth and it tastes the caramel. I'll probably say that if you don't like caramel, this probably isn't the drink for you. Um, but again, it's not overpowering. So it's, it's a really, really nice taste. Really nice taste. Okay, so let's um, let's mix them in. Um, put a bit more in. Why not? It's Christmas after all. Chin chin. Um, I'm going to mix this with ginger beer. I think this is probably going to be the best, the best mix of this, and it's probably my tipple of choice. So let's give this a taste. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done you, Dead Man's Fingers, because they have produced a beautiful rum. Yeah, that is really nice. Oh, cheers. Oh, yes please chef, very nice. Um, mixed, yeah, beautiful again. Um, mix it with the ginger beer, it does tone down the caramel. So again, you know what I mean? Um, if you're not too fast on caramel, the, the taste really dampens down when you mix it with ginger beer. Um, but it's still absolutely beautiful. Um, for mixing, I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five. Four and a half out of five is absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah. So, just going to summarise, guys. So, I'm going to give this for an overall, I'm going to give this a four out of five. They do really well. It, it's not that expensive in the supermarkets, Nima. There's always deals going on. Um, so you can get probably get around about between the 18 and 25 pound mark. Depends on where you shop. Um, yeah, but absolutely beautiful. 
Okay guys, so thank you very much for watching. Please, if you enjoy this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And also hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. I'm constantly active on social media, I'm showing different rums, getting all the rum deals that's currently going on within the UK. And if you think of a better way to mix this, please hit me up, get it on there. Let's get all the community looking at the best ways to drink these rums and crack it on. So, that's the end of the review. Thank you very much, guys. Always drink responsibly. Peace out.